Hi, this is Frida. Benny. Anna. And Bjorn of ABBA. The first single we ever made uh, with ABBA as a group was that one. It's called People Need Love. But the girl's name weren't mentioned on the record. They called it something like Bjorn and Benny and, and Svenska Flicka, which is Swedish girl. Really crazy. So you girls weren't, uh, you were in the group, but you weren't... Yes, we were in the yeah, group. Yeah, as mm. a backing, but we weren't mentioned, you know. <laughs> well, they were, but not here. I don't know why that happened, but... Uh. But you were in the group, though. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So sure. Mm -hmm. what you, another, a Denmark version of Tony Orlando and Don. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first record was what? People, People Need Love. Okay, I'm gonna have to go find that one, as Paul Drew or somebody, because that might be kind of neat. Um, now I have a, a list of stuff that had happened, and it's not on here, of course. Isn't it? People need love? Yes, it is. Too. Oh, it yeah. is, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's settled. How did they get that? How did Atlantic buy, Atlantic buy it from Playboy? Well, I think we got the masters back when we left uh, Playboy. Do you have any stories yeah. of, of um, what was happening? Now, wait a minute, though. Um, before that, there was something else. There was an international award that was won. What was that? Is the tape running now? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're into it now. Yeah, yeah. you know, fine. Uh, well, we won the uh, Eurovision Song Contest, if that's what you mean, in 74. Tell, tell me that story. It was. It's, um, well, it's this big competition between the countries of Europe. They uh, have their competition in each country, and then they come together. Uh, in uh, This year, in 74, it was uh, in Brighton, in England. And uh, we were the Swedish entry with Waterloo. And it's watched by something like 600 million viewers oh, yeah, yeah. simultaneously. So it's really the, the biggest spot you can have. And uh, we happened to win that. Did you think you were going to win when you win? Oh, I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had, you know, um, I think the Waterloo was very apart from the other uh, songs that were in that. I think I remember reading that. Yeah, and that, I think that was the reason. Now, what what happens to you when you win that contest is is uh, that's if you win it, you're a contest winner, and that's what you are. I mean, everybody who ever wins it, they kind of a one shot. And uh, it took us some time in Europe to to get rid of that mark. I mean, oh really? You mean you were typecast uh, negatively rather than? In a way, for our music, I think it was because, uh, as I said, Waterloo was not the same kind of music that mm -hmm. normally appeared in that show, in that contest. Would we recognize some of the other names of some of the other contestants? Yeah, there's been you know, quite a lot of well-known English artists. Yeah. Olivia, Cliff, yeah. yeah. Cliff Richard, Richard. She was in the same year as Olivia we were. Olivia was there, yeah. Mm -hmm. She was number three or something. Yeah. Cliff Richard has uh, entered and uh, a lot of people. Speaking of Olivia Newton-John, uh, I was told that uh, before uh, making... Uh, of being as noticed in America, you were quite popular in Australia. Is that so? Is that true or not? Talking about her? She. No, you. Yeah. You oh, yeah, yeah. The, the reason I said speaking of Olivia Newton John is yeah. because she's from Australia. Yeah. And I just went off to Australia and I remembered that comment. Somebody mm. said that Abba has been selling like crazy in Australia yeah. way before, or not way before, but before yeah. in America. Yeah, started yeah. about mm. two years ago, one and a half years Why ago. Why do you suppose that is? Uh, you know, you're pretty international and have gone to quite a few countries. What what are some of the differences? In well, it seems... Why sell somewhere and not somewhere else? Well, I'd say the only territory where we don't sell records or so far is here and Japan. Uh, otherwise, they buy the records all over the world. But and they do sell here. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I think it starts now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've had uh, like five top 30 hits in, in two years since Waterloo. Uh, but, but not. I think why Benny is saying this is that uh, the fact that we're very spoiled, you know, mm. because in the rest of the countries they buy enormously, whereas they buy not so much here yet. Do they buy albums or singles? Or? Both. Both. We've sold something like four million albums of this greatest hits album around the world. Maybe outside the States. And I don't know how many we sold here so far, but it couldn't be that much. Well, no. this, is, this is a relatively new... Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. Here, I mean. yeah. yeah. Um, when you do songs like, well, Waterloo and SOS, and et cetera, et cetera, when you do them in other countries, do you do them in other languages? No. 
No, we did Waterloo in uh, German and French and Spanish. But that was the last song that we did. Now we only sing in English. What? Uh, now you weren't, of course. You had to learn English. When did you learn it? We learn it in school. We yeah. start when we are ten years to read it. But the native tongue is Swedish. Yeah. yeah. Swedish. Vad ska vi säga då? Ja. Skulle du inte förstå i alla fall. Det är ett väldigt du förstår trevligt, ingenting. Väldigt är det. trevligt radioprogram det här. Ja, det är det. Ja, det är en bra, bra radiostation också. Spelar oh, många yeah. bra låtar. It's a good station. It's a good station. <laughs> I believe you, I believe you. Okay, let's see. I'd like you to um, run down just some stories that happened that are associated with the songs that I'll mention to you if you have a story in your head. If you don't, we'll move on to another song, okay? Mm. Like, uh, uh, SOS. Does, do you recall any stories, like, where was it recorded? Well, we recorded SOS in Stockholm. We record all the material in Stockholm. Mm. We do. In the yeah. same studio, actually. Yeah, yeah. Most of them. Yes, yes, all of them. Yeah. Every number. It comes from uh, our um, third album. It's called ABBA, the album. And uh, it's the second single that we got from that album. Uh, the one after I Do, I Do, I Do. Really? Yes. I thought that... Well, it was the opposite way here. Yeah, I yes. think that's yeah. they released mm. SOS before I Do, I Do. That's also yeah. the story with um, Dance and Queen. Yeah. 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 It's number one but in England now. We haven't released it here world, yet. Yeah. And so by the time this special hits the air, it will have... Um, succeeded Fernando, which I love. Fernando, I really like. You do? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. It's so Thank mysterious you. to me. <laughs> Is it? Well, that's love, good. <laughs> it's a diss track. Yeah, I love to sit there and use the time talking up to it, talking about um, the old soldier who hasn't had a rifle in his hand mm. for quite some time, is old and gray. Mm. But as he looks back, he can even hear his memories. Do you hear the drums, Fernando? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Like that. That's great because that's ac uh, actually the uh, intention with the words and the music to create sort of an atmosphere. I think mm -hmm. there's like four major medias uh, that deal with um, eyes and ears and stuff. And it's uh, TV and movies and radio and records. To me, my favorite and my preference is radio and records. And the reason for me is that with radio and records, you can say words or sing words and people come from pure imagination and meet you halfway and you could be talking about Fernando to one person I also we have San Fernando Valley here yeah. mm. so I say this is the theme song of Saint Ferdinand San <laughs> Fernando do you hear the drums Fernando yeah. so you can say stuff like that and people will meet you yeah. halfway with their imagination and make their own pictures yeah. mm. right people 20 different pictures right I agree yeah. because uh, that's why people ask us exactly what is this song about which uh, where uh, in history and so forth. We don't want to say anything because uh, we just want to create the atmosphere to, to have uh, their own imagination going, which yeah, is yeah. better. And if you show it on a screen, it's there, and uh, you can't, then it's spoiled. Yeah. So I, I, I agree. Um, okay, I, I went from SOS way to Fernando, um, which you also recorded, recorded in Stockholm. Tell me about that. Why have you ever done any recording in a, an American studio or an English no, studio? No, no, not so any far. Reason? Well, we have a very good studio and a very good engineer back in Stockholm. Could you ever bring him here? Uh, well, we've been talking, been talking about that, but uh, well, in that case, we'd bring uh, some musicians we normally use, and it would end up all the same thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I don't. There's a consistency in the sound. That's true. Yeah, some people say it's a bit exotic, I don't know. Do they? Yeah. Well, it's hard for us to say what kind of a sound it is, and if it's because of the fact that we're Swedes recording in Sweden with Swedish musicians. Maybe it is. Maybe it's. Uh, it would be uh, different if we recorded it here. I'm just curious. Now, I don't think you should record here, or should not. It just strikes me as curious, that's all. Yeah. I will certainly do it um, sometime. As an experiment. Yeah, interesting. But that is that's fascinating. Me, Stockholm. <laughs> it's the corner <laughs> of the world. That is romantic. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Waterloo was the one that you won the award. Uh, is it? 
where did that come from before the award? Why did you decide to uh, try out at the Eurovision? What, what's the actual title? Eurovision Song Contest. Well, we uh, choose from two numbers. Uh, they're both on the Greatest Hits album, I believe. It was Hasta Mañana and Waterloo. And we choose Waterloo because that was uh, the number that we'd like to do in front of an audience. Yeah, more visual. Also, I mean, Hasta Mañana is more the type of music that they normally sing in that contest. Mm. And it was a, a good thing that we did Waterloo in that contest because uh, it stood out from the others very well. It was quite different, and it was the first time that a, a number like that had won the Eurovision. Were there more slower songs or something? Yeah, more ballads and mm. you know the French, Italian, romantic stuff and mm -hmm. German bumpa bumpa. <laughs> Be <Yeah>. careful. <laughs> <laughs> now we have Bush Gardens, and they're going through an Oktoberfest. It's okay. <laughs> uh, uh, had you had that as a single released uh, before that? I mean, was it here? No, um, in Europe and the countries. Was Waterloo on the charts before you entered the actual song? No, no. no. So that was its first time. Yes. Ha! Yeah. Incredible. Okay. And uh, now, where in the in the chronol chronology of the hits was Waterloo? The first. The very first one. Yeah. The then, biggest one, at yeah, least. Yeah, the first mm. big one. Yeah. The biggest in Europe? Oh, yes. Is it the biggest here so far? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I think Dancing Queen is the biggest so mm. far. But that's in, that's in Europe. That's in Europe exactly. and Australia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Both SOS, um, Fernando and Dancing Queen are bigger. Yeah. Maybe even Mamma Mia, I don't know. What came after Waterloo? I want to go in order. Mm. Uh, well, that's where we made the mistake. Well, I mean, which hit came here was Honey Honey, a song yeah. called Honey Honey was number 29 or something on the charts here. Uh -huh. uh, in England we had, there was a cover made on that song because we released another number, uh, which was a mistake from us. Well, a mistake. Well, <laughs> you can't make a mistake. Yeah. Between uh, here, between Waterloo and, uh, or between Honey Honey I should say, and uh, SOS we had a few flops. So long, which is on that album as well, and uh, See, Ring happening. Ring, I think, isn't it? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I was going to ask you, so long. No, it's Honey Honey. Why, yeah. why is not that way? Which one? So long is on there. I mean, it's Hasta Mañana. Uh huh. Oh, I think it's People Need Love instead. Yeah. Of Hasta yeah. But okay, hit-wise, just a chronology of hits, because to me, there's no such thing as a flop. I mean, I. I'll go to work and I love the Wrigley Spearmint Gum jingle. I sing it right along with it, man. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but, but as far as hits, you know, really hitting with a, a biggie, Waterloo was first and the next one was SOS? Uh, honey, honey. Honey, honey. Honey, honey, honey. honey I was right or something. And after Honey, honey. Uh, SOS. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't I do. Well, I SOS, I I, I, they came in, in different orders, I mean, in Europe mm -hmm. and here. Yeah. Yeah. SOS, I do, I do. Mamma Mia, and now Fernando. I'm kind of getting the notion that we're getting them late, <laughs> because, uh, yes. okay, say it's December, it's actually, right now it's October, but mm. say it's two months from now, it's December, from December, now I'm speaking to you in December, how long ago was Dancing Queen recorded? Oh, one, recording, one, one and a half year ago. <laughs> 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 uh, it was one of the first songs uh, on the new album. On the new album, yes. Which is called Arrival. 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 <laughs> it's just released. Uh, it was released three months ago in uh, Scandinavia and Europe. This is if something we, we, mm. we want to catch up with. Yes, so it's that, a pity uh, actually. I guess so. If you, mm. you know, as I like Fernando a lot. And I'm sure you do, too. When mm. you recorded it, you were probably really oh, yes. excited about when you recorded it two years ago. <laughs> but you must have some stuff that you're very equally excited about on the new album. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. a lot of them. Is it released here like... yet? No, this one No. Is. Yeah. When yeah. is it going to be released? Well, we don't know. It depends on how, how this will I think this be. is going to be very big. Myself. Yeah. You think so? Well, yeah, by comparison to the other ones. Mm. We hope so. It's the greatest so. hits. It's proven. There's a lot of stuff on it. Mm-hmm. 
And it's lo it looks like that because it went down up 21 steps on the uh, billboard, I think. Okay, we were yeah. very happy for that. Yeah. Mm. You know, it took so long time to sell albums, like even in Europe. Uh, I mean, the, they, they they buy the singles, right? And and they hear well the type of music, whatever it is we're doing. Uh, they hear a good song, and well, let's go buy the record. And then it comes another single and another single. And after they bought like five, six singles of us, uh, I guess they they found out to people that we might as well buy an album. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people get the same notion that we do. If they group or a person has a <coughs> pretty good record and then another pretty good one, another pretty good thing, they're kind of proven. Mm. So yeah. Like yeah. Eventually, if, if Stevie Wonder releases an album, I'll buy it before it even comes out. Mm. That's what's going to happen. Now, tell me this: you, know, you you have a notion that things are just starting to really take off in in the United States of America, right? You do have that notion. Yeah. Yes. How does it make you feel? Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, it's a great feeling. It's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's, you can't compare with anything else. You have to live with it. Mm. And because it's great to be here and have that feeling, mm. to hear the song on the radio and knowing that uh, a lot of people are buying and listening to it. Yeah, just think to hear it on the radio. Say you're driving along the beach and you yeah. hear it on the radio. You know that at that moment thousands of people are listening to that yeah. same show. Mm. And you ask yourself, is that really me? <laughs> Do, do you? <laughs> <laughs> do you really? Mm. Huh? <laughs> I mean, the, 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 that's the good thing about. It. I mean, you, if we before we came here, now we we went to Poland yes. to tell some Polish jokes. I've yeah. Polish, please. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was Polish. Oh yes. Uh -huh. Now we went to I mean, we went to a restaurant, Frida and I, a small Chinese place in Warsaw, mm. and you, you know, it's, all of a sudden they started playing on, on in. Well, in the last week, some of our songs. They didn't know in, who in we Poland. were. In Poland, yeah, I mean, it's, that's a good feeling. Yeah, and then ne next week you're in L.A. and, and you hear the same yeah. songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the ultimate reward you get from writing songs and recording. But and it, in Warsaw, they're, they're playing them and they're sung in English. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We've sold like 200,000 albums of, of the one before that. No, of the Waterloo album. Mm, the first one. Yeah. That's fascinating to me because that means people are buying it for the music and the melody, you know? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, how we are. work. That's that's what we try to do when we write the songs, to write good melodies and re with a good sound when we record them. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> they can even buy the records in, in Russia now. Yeah. Very limited, mm -hmm. but uh, they can. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, I'm thinking of other things. Look, John is my... My master surgeon who's going to put all this together. Hi, John. Hello. He knows, he knows uh, how it's going to sound. And I'm looking at it and say, what, do you, what else can we ask? I have um, already asked what the difference in music between other countries and the United States is. It seems like uh, any reputation that the United States has for being, the United States of America has, for being a trendsetter just got lost, if you guys... Everybody knows about you in various countries in Europe before these people got caught on. It's amazing. There goes another theory. Um, but still, uh, some of the music that comes from here is really trendsetting. Yeah. I mean, All the world. I'd say we get most of our inspiration for writing and recording from here, and from England. Well, that's kind of the next question I was going to ask you, but before I, I do that, I just wanted to see if you think that uh, having hit here, which is happening, do you think that you'll go and hit Europe all over again? In a different light, you know? You know what I mean? Oh, you mean if, if it means anything to Europe, if, if we, we have hit, hits yeah. here? Well, not the way it happens. I mean, we have them in Europe first and they come here afterwards. That's, do you think that's going to change? Eventually, in a year or two? No, well, no because, because things happen in Europe much faster, you know. If you have a single released, you, you can be number one in a week. If, uh, yeah, sure. With advance orders and, and, and everything, yeah. and if you're very well known and if you had hits before. Yeah, that has happened to us in the past eight months. Mm. All and over your, every country in Europe. And everything happens much slower here, of course, because it's a continent. It's like uh, 50 countries. So um, 
a single takes much more long, uh, much longer to get up on the charts here. Hmm. If you're not Elton John or Stevie Wonder, I mean it, hmm. an instant. Okay, now you started talking about the fact that you were influenced by uh, uh, a lot of the things, the music that had come out of here, oh, yeah. here being America. Sure. Who are some of the people that have influenced each one of you? The Beatles. They didn't come out. No. no. <laughs> I know that. No, I, I'm, they? I, I'm, a, I'm a Beach Boy fan from the beginning. Mm. Uh, I think they made the best records ever made. Um, yeah, and, and as, we, as right, to live up, yeah. they wrote one of they the best Brian Wilson, songs, yeah. too. And you for, for sure, Bob Dylan, in Reader's Digest, just said that he thinks America should run around putting statues up for the, for the Beatles before what they've done. Mm. Yeah, because you know, I think they were the initial impulse for a lot of people to, to write, write songs. Music, yeah. mm -hmm. And same for us. Any others? Well, well we there's so many good acts. Mm. I mean, we can tell you. We hope 15. to be able to see the Eagles while we're here. Oh, we'll buy the new free. Stevie Wonder album. Mm. We should be able to get that free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. <clears throat>